Hello, what is up guys? In this video here, downtown Austin, I wanted to talk about the concept of learning things on an as needed basis. Now, this definitely can apply to OSCP, but this also applies to pretty much any time you have a really complex sort of area where you're trying to learn and grow your skills in and improve a lot of times there's just so much to learn and that is the part that can be really overwhelming for a lot of people um, and a bit off-putting when it's like you know you might come in with a lot of enthusiasm about learning stuff but then it just gets the more you learn about because when you when you first come into something right you don't know what it is you don't know but the more you learn about stuff you start to realize what it is that you don't know and that you're gonna need to learn and a lot of times it keeps stacking and stacking and stacking and then it actually feels really intimidating because there's you find out there's just so much you need to learn you might not even be sure where to get started or maybe you do know where to get started and you do have a sort of game plan but it just seems so overwhelming right that is why this is where this concept really comes into play learn things on an as-needed basis okay if you're a programmer or if you're an aspiring programmer you know these languages have all the functionality you could ever ask for really there's so much to learn but the best way to learn coding you know is to try and build something start with the end in mind like what do I want to do with this programming language what do I want to build with it and then as you as you go you'll see okay well I need to learn about how to make HTTP requests to this back-end API to access this functionality so let me learn how to do that Okay, now I got the the response, but it's in JSON. I need to like extract the right fields into variables. How do I do that? Let me look that up. Okay, so you're you're learning all these things, and they're stacking and compounding on top of each other, but you're learning it for a specific purpose. The pro problem a lot of people run into is they try to learn. You know, going along with this coding example again, they try to learn things like in an isolated environment. They're like, okay, I'm gonna learn. I'm going to learn about HTTP requests. Okay, now I'm going to learn about um, how to make OS calls. Okay, now I'm going to learn about how to build an API. Okay, now I'm going to learn about, um, you know, t tuples and data structures. And now I'm going to learn about, you know, they just keep jumping around like completely randomly. And you're just not, you might learn it in the moment. You're not going to retain it. The best way to retain information is to actually use it, you know, and use it when in building your own thing, not just a tutorial. A lot of people stick too much to the tutorials, right? But they're not learning on an as needed basis. Now, as we relate this to a completely different field, right? Let's say, let's go back to the chef example, right? That I did in a previous video. Say you're an aspiring chef. Now, this is where it really, you know, you really need to be targeted in the way you're learning, really focused in the way you're learning. Now, you like, you just get a cookbook, right? And you just look at all the recipes in the cookbook before you even start learning how to make anything. You know, you're just going through the cookbook and you're just reading it, you know, cover to cover. You're not really going to have a feel for cooking and really grow the skill in cooking unless you are more targeted and you learn things on an as needed basis now begin with the end in mind like I say so say you are like I really want to be a really good Italian chef right Italian food is what I love spaghetti and pizza and all this stuff stuff right so it would be a lot better to to be like okay this is my area this is where this is the end in mind that I want to achieve and then you go and you learn things like, okay, well, I need to learn how to make the sauce. So then you learn, you know, how to make the best sauce you can. Okay, I need to learn how to, you know, what noodles are the best with this dish or whatever. I'm not a chef, but you know what I mean? Like, so you want to learn things in a very purposeful way. Like learning for the sake of learning, I mean, I guess it does have a little bit of value. But if you really want to want to be able to get a lot out of it, you need to learn in a very intentional way. You need to learn things for a certain purpose. Now, lastly, just tying this to OSCP in a context that you guys are all gonna be really relevant to you guys, right? Would be, obviously, in 
this offensive security space, there's just so much to learn. Like, there's just no way around it. There's just so much to learn, and the amount that is applicable <laughs> increases every day with the new technology that comes out. It's like, how can I break that, you know? <laughs> with, like, <clears throat> pretty much every piece of technology that's constantly coming out, every software, hardware, whatever, there's always that... Um, you know, whole new opens a whole new ball game. There's more now. You got to learn about that technology. You don't have to learn everything, but that's a topic for another video. No one knows everything in security, but you know, <clears throat> suffice to say, there's a lot to learn in security. Now, you know, you could just get lost in it, like just studying topic, bouncing from topic to topic, kind of like reading this big book on like some kind of like offensive security stuff or whatever, cover to cover. And you might feel like, okay, I get a better feel for stuff, but you're not gonna actually learn this stuff. For OSCP, right, you could take the guide and just read it cover to cover, and you'll learn a lot, but really, you're not gonna grow your skills too much. The way you wanna approach this stuff is to resist the urge to feel intimidated. Just go into OSCP, right, and learn it little by little, okay. You start in the beginning. Okay, I need to do recon. Focus your learning on recon. Okay, um, let me focus on Nmap. Like, how can I get good recon from Nmap and find out about what services are running? Okay, cool. Now I know what services are running. Um, let me focus in learning my recon on these specific services. Okay, they got SMB. Okay, I see that. I see that this port is SMB, right? Now let me uh, let me learn about how to enumerate SMB for this box, right? And then you learn about enumerating that, right? And then everything you learn there you can apply to later on down the road. But you're learning a very intentional way versus like let me learn about client side attacks and then go and do the lab and it's like I might not even run into that till whenever. You know, like you wanna you wanna be intentional on your learning because it can really speed up the process. And you know, you'll always need to look things up. You won't necessarily just learn everything in one fell swoop and then you're good. Like it's fine to look things up, you know. There's so much to learn in this field and most fields that like people are looking things up anyways, right? But it's important to be really intentional about how you learn. It can really help speed up the process so i hope this this video was of value to you guys let me know if you have any questions or comments down in the section below and i will see you guys in the next video